Hi, I'm Mossy. I've always flown IFR using Jeppesen charts. I'm really excited that I have access to those charts on my iPad using Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck. Jeppesen spent the last couple of years listening to real pilots and collecting their data to make Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck even better. So let's show you a couple of the cool features that will make using electronic Jeppesen charts way easier. I'm really happy with how the chart organizing features turned out. It allows me to build a chart clip, just like I used to do with my old paper plates, but more efficiently. No more having to grab each individual chart that I might use out of this big beast. I just simply go to my iPad and I can set up a nice clean approach clip. And if there's a plate that I need to get to, I have instant access to it. So let me show you how we set up the flight in Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck. We're gonna do a flight from Santa Barbara to Oakland and for safety, we're going to use a takeoff alternate of Santa Maria and a filed in route alternate of San Jose. I'm going to go to my flight planning app and I'm going to copy out the route structure to use later. Now, let me show you how we set up that flight in Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck. So I launch Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck and tap on the route icon in the upper left. This brings up the in route chart. Notice at the top of the page there is a small down arrow. If I tap there, I can get the flight plan pane. I can now enter my origin, Santa Barbara, my destination, Oakland, and my two alternates, Santa Maria and San Jose. One of the nice new features is you can enter in as many alternates as you want. Our first pro tip is enter a takeoff alternate as well as a destination alternate. I now tap and hold the route box to paste the route from my flight planning app. When I click done, notice I get an error message. Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck wants me to enter the runway I'm departing from, so I add runway 25 to the beginning of the route, followed by a period. Now I can tap the up arrow to dismiss the flight plan and see the entire route on the in route chart. So that was pretty simple, right? So now that we've built our flight plan in Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck, we can build our chart clip. Our second pro tip is build a chart clip for all the airports in your flight. Here's how chart organization works. To switch from the in route chart to the procedure plates, tap on the airplane icon in the upper left hand corner. The first plate that is displayed is the airport view for your origin airport. If I tap the airport button below it, I get a list of all airports in the flight plan. We'll stay on Santa Barbara for right now. Below the airport button, they've grouped the plates by phase of flight. If I slide up to approach, it shows me a list of approach plates. If I slide back down to taxi, it shows me the list of airport pages. If I tap the slider, the list goes away. And if I tap it again, the list comes back. Note that next to each plate title is a checkbox. Well, not really a box, but placing a check mark in the circle will add this plate to the airport's chart clip. The good old 10-9 airport page is always checked off by default. This is really useful because the FAA now lets us use own ship position for situational awareness while taxing. Right away, I personally like to come in and add the back side of the airport page, the 10-9 alpha, to my clip. Now we are going to look at the departure procedures for Santa Barbara, so we simply slide the slider down to SID. Another nice new feature is that I can easily preview each plate simply by tapping on the title. Flout 5, Habit 4, that's the departure I'm going to file, so I'm going to check it and add it to my clip. And you know, I also like to add an approach back to this airport, just in case, so I'm going to add the ILS Runway 7. Now look what's happening. Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck shows me a horizontal scroll bar for my chart clip at the bottom of the screen. Right now I have one approach, two taxi plates, and a SID plate. It's really simple to go back and forth between plates in the approach clip. Just simply do a two finger swipe. Put two fingers down on the iPad, one, two, then simply just swipe left or right to go from plate to plate. Now I go to my takeoff alternate and choose one or two approaches I may need. In this case, I'll check the RNAV GPS runway 30 and the ILS or localizer runway 1 to approach. I will also select the most likely approach I'm going to need for viewing now so that it's ready for me in case I divert to this airport. Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck remembers the last chart viewed for each airport in the chart clip.
Now I go to my destination airport and first select the other airport pages I'll need. We already talked about the 10-9 Alpha, but look, Oakland has some temporary runway construction, so I'm going to check that page so I can review it in flight. I'll select the arrival I've filed and the approaches I will likely need as well. The ILS 28 right, the RNAV 28 right, and just in case I get switched to another runway at the last minute, the RNAV 28 left. Similarly, I build a chart clip for my filed alternate, San Jose. Okay, now I'm all set up for flight. Before I call ground control for my taxi clearance, first I bring up Jefferson Mobile Flight Day so I can highlight my taxi routing and maintain situational and positional awareness while I taxi out. Pro tip number three is highlight the taxi route as you receive your taxi clearance. And ground citation 61 Hotel. Hotel is at Atlantic with Juliet. Taxi, please. Station 61 Hotel Hotel, stay in a Barbara Grand Runway 15, left taxi via Echo Bravo, hold short runway 25. So I now have my taxi routing highlighted. If I want to actually zoom or scroll in on the taxi diagram, we recommend that you always lock the plate. If you wish to zoom or pan to a different portion of the taxi diagram, when you unlock it, be sure that you lock the plate again. And this applies to all phases of flight. You simply don't want to bump the iPad and have the app switch to a different plate. So there you have it. Some great new features in Jefferson Mobile Flight Deck that will help you make your charts and your flight deck more organized. Here's wishing you safe flying.